Hi, this is Mark Gutkowski, and I'm doing a video here of 1738 West Ridgeview Circle. This is a condominium complex. It is on leased land, and uh, we're going to go inside and take a look at this corner unit. You can see its placement is nice and close to the pool. And I'm going from a south view, which is where we saw the car, and I'm now looking east. As I go all the way around, and I'll speed up a little bit, you'll see the entry to the community there, uh, as well as the other units that are across the street. And then finally, there is a west facing view. You're going to see that from the bedroom side inside. And uh, it's a little hazy today, so you don't get to see how fabulous it is, but it actually is a terrific view. All right, let's go in and take a look. I've stepped around to the front door to take a look at uh, the pool a little bit closer. So you've got a nice, I mean, it's, it's pretty close here. What you're going to do is you're going to go from the front door, you have the tennis court and the pool. Uh, there's the sound of an airplane behind me, which is negligible at best. And then this is the, uh, the front entry to this unit. You can see me walking in the background there. Uh, but this is the entryway. You can see a large window above that. And then over here, there is a doorway, which is off of the garage. I'm going to go ahead and swing around from outside to the inside so we can take a look at this. It's a two bedroom den. Uh, technically, I suppose you could call it a three bedroom if you made a closet in that room over there again. But um, this is the main room. It's a vaulted space and uh, it's long, which is nice because it allows you to sort of have a living room on one side and uh, and then the dining area as it is set up there. You can see that it has a patio exit that I've opened up so that we can see it as well as the sort of living room end. Uh, I'm walking on carpet. There's carpet through much of the place uh, as well as good light. Uh, it, this is an east facing, northeast facing window so you're not going to get a whole lot of light later in the day. As I come around, I'm going to take you outside because this will be a common space. If you have pets, this would probably be a nice perk because they can stay outside and uh, go inside and outside pretty easily. This is a covered patio and so I'm in the shade, but wanted to kind of come out so that you could see the view. Here's the undercarriage for that patio. Uh, tall wall, so it's got privacy connected to it. It's a saltillo tile. Well, actually, it's a reproduction. This is a porcelain that's here. So if you were interested in doing some gardening, this would give you an opportunity to do that. Uh, I'm going to go forward a bit, just show some more of the mountain view here. Uh, hazy again today. So if I had done this in the morning, you would have a very different view. Then I'm going to turn back around. That window there to the right would be to the den. This here with my reflection is going into where the dining room is set up. And then this will take us back into the main living area. Uh, from here we have the kitchen, which is open. Uh, if you took out that cabinet above, you'd actually have a lot more space. There's a bedroom there to the right, as well as a bathroom. And as I pan back over towards the front door, you're going to see the master bedroom. I have stepped into the master bedroom, and I figure we'll go ahead and start in here so you can take a look at how this is set up. It's a really nice sized room. It's got its own joined on bathroom where it has a powder sink area and then it has the toilet and the shower uh, beyond that. So as I come around, you'll see that there's, there's um, lots of pink in this particular room, but it does have a nice exposure to where the pool is across the yard. And then there is a large closet space as well. And uh, we have a popcorn ceiling in here, but it's very, it's in really good shape. It's a small curd popcorn, I guess. I don't know if you can say that or not. Back towards the living room. And then I'll come around and we'll take a look at the bathroom. There's carpet throughout. Uh, I think one of the values of that is you'll be able to do whatever you want to the flooring. And uh, we have original countertops and here's the toilet. And then we have an original bathroom set up with the tile and nice size shower. So rather than having a tub, you can make this into a nice walk-in. I'm going to step out of the master this time and pan out back to the living room space. And this time I'm going to walk us around to where the kitchen is located. The double doors that are at the end of the kitchen, that's your washer and dryer. It's a closet here to the right. And then uh, as I go through, you're going to see that there's a bathroom. That would be the main bath as opposed to the master. Some storage. 
and then a long galley kitchen. Uh, I would probably reconfigure this if I were going to be remodeling. Obviously take out the drop lights and then take out all of this hanging cabinetry. It would really open up the space nicely. Uh, it has a generic tile on the floor. That's pretty much the largest area of tile in the entire house. And you can see the carpet again. As I said, washer and dryer is going to be the double doors to my left. I'm going to pick up this segment from those double doors again and just sort of look at the second bedroom here. This is uh, it's good size. It's got a nice little closet. Not open up the windows here, but this has got a western view, so you're going to have a real nice view of the mountains from here. And this has two twin beds in it, side by side. All dressed up very nice and cozy. It's a good size room. You could definitely put a queen size, even a king size bed in here if you really wanted to. It looks back at the kitchen so that you can see it from here. And uh, I will go around the corner to the bathroom. Uh, this bathroom does have a tub. It has more of that tile in it, original countertop and original vanity. It's in good shape. It's very clean, very serviceable. Nobody made any changes that uh, might be offensive. I've stepped back to the corner of what is set up as the dining room in the main living space kind of going around to give a sense of the outcrop that's above where the kitchen's located, looking back again at where the bathroom and the kitchen are located. And then I'm going to come around into what is the den. Now I was saying this could be a third bedroom and probably is still considered that. I'd have to look at the listing, but uh, that inset where the rattan shelving unit is located would be where the closet would have been for this room, uh, which would make it a bedroom. However, it works exceptionally well as an office or you could do a media room, it would be very nice. And again, we have windows, those are looking north. So good light, but not going to have a lot of direct sun, except for probably in the summer as we're dealing with the sun tracking a bit more to the west. All right, that's it. Uh, this is Mark Kowski. If you have any questions about real estate in the Palm Springs area, go to markgps.com and you can get my information and contact me. Thanks a lot.